presenters for today is Lily and Zaki, and they're going to be presenting to us the properties of waffle grab. So, thank you. Um, as stated, I'm Zaki. Hi, I'm Lily. And our project is an exploration on the properties of waffle grass. Um, graph theory is a fairly new area in mathematics, so we're going to give you a short introduction. A graph is a system or a system of interrelations or connections between two or more objects using vertices and edges to show a diagram. Um, vertices represent objects in the diagram, and edges represent relationships between these objects. Um, graph theory itself is the study and analysis of patterns and properties to show um, comparisons between similar types of graphs. Um, in the corner, you can see an example of a pretty simple graph, but they can get a little more complicated, like the toot graph, which was drawn in 1946. Um, if you look at the graph, you can see that the blue dots on the graph, those are known as vertices, and the black lines that connect them are known as edges. Um, if you notice this graph in particular, they all have three edges coming off of the vertices, and that shows that it's k-regular. Um, a k-regular graph is when a graph all has the same degree coming off of every single vertex, and a degree is the amount of edges coming off of the vertex. So this graph in particular would be three regular. Also, if you look at this graph, you'll see that none of the edges cross unless there's a vertex present. That's known as being planar. So just to reiterate, um, the degree is the number of edges coming off of a vertex. K regular is graphs that have the same degree on every vertex. And planar is a graph that can be drawn on a plane in such a way that no edges intersect without there being a vertex. So a lot of graph theory deals with coloring the vertices of a graph in different ways in order to partition the vertices into different sets so we can examine the relationships between these vertices. Um, so the one way to color the vertices of a graph is chromatically, and the chromatic number of a graph is the smallest number of colors required to color the vertices of that graph such that no two adjacent vertices um, share the same color. We're going to need some audience participation for the record. So, you keep in mind that we want to do this in the smallest number of colors. So, um, adjacent vertices are ones we share the same edge. So, what color can we do? Green. <laughs> Alright, what color um, does this vertice have to be? Red. Okay. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how about this vertice down here? 